Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add multiple Im images to your products in Zencart. Now I've gone ahead and opened everything up and I've started making all of my edits on my file names. But basically, let me show you uh, what one edit's going to be here real quick and then we'll the other ones have already been done. As you'll notice, your photos, when you have them in a folder, are probably going to say something like 001 JPEG, 002 JPEG, and then it goes on 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you know, you get it. So anyway, the four images that I'm going to use, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a renaming convention. All of them have to start out with 001. So this one that's 002, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename that from 002 to 001. I can't just name it 001 because it'll overwrite the other ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 001 and then with an underscore I'm going to add 1. And then I'm going to go along and do 2, 3, 4. Well, I I've, I've, was going to do 2, but I did 3 and 4. So anyway, you get the idea. 001 has to be present in all four images, and then an underscore, and then a number. Uh, don't think it matters what order that number is, but they all have to be 001, and then something for them to all show up. Now, the quick way to put them in your Zen cart is as follows. You go to your Zen cart, and I've already filled out the description for this item for the sake of time and then we're going to browse to our image folder and we're going to pick thumbnails now this for me is pretty important uh, I just learned this and I don't know how I was getting by without it but you start your last image first and regardless of what order you put them in uh, hang on I'm regardless of what order you put them in, get your last image in first and your first image, your base image, has to be the last image. Now you'll see up here the green bar says that that image has uploaded. So once we've seen that that's uploaded to the appropriate folder, we just back up and we'll browse again, thumbnail it again, and then we see we want three. We're going to go ahead and take three and put it in. We're going to look for that green bar that says three is in, which is good. Then we back up and then we do the same thing with two. Uh, I don't need to preview it. Well, it's one, that's right. Uh, I won't need the thumbnail in the other one. I'll do the preview to make sure and verify that my green is up there. Okay, now we'll back up again and this is very important this is the last of the photos and it's the base photo the one that all the other ones are drawn off of it's the 001 with nothing behind it so that's going to be our last photo we're going to preview that and now that all of our photos are loaded up we're ready to go ahead and update the cart so we're going to update and then what we're going to do is we're going to launch our customer view which is our online catalog and it'll pop open in a new tab and then we just go looking for oops I hit the wrong button we just go looking for our beer can and I have a subcategory so I need to look in the subcategory which I've got it up there and it's going to be on page two and here we have it now when I pop this open if you look along the bottom you'll see all these others that I've put in and I put another one in there as well so any image that was appended with that is going to uh, go in under these so this one is 01 this one is just straight up 1 this one is 2 this one is 3 and this one is 4 just remember have them all, if, if, the first, if the base image is 001, have everything follow 001. And then you'll have them all in your Zen card. And then you can click on them one at a time. Also, remember, do not have this image too big. Because if it spreads all the way across the screen, they cannot resize this window. Okay, thank you.